Imagine being told for 50 years that something essential for your survival is actually your enemy. That's exactly what's happened with cholesterol, and the consequences of this deception have been devastating for millions of people's brain health. I'm Dr. Clark, and what I'm about to share will make you question everything you've been told about cholesterol, but more importantly, it might just save your brain. Every day across America, doctors are prescribing cholesterol-lowering medications to stroke patients before they even leave the hospital. Think about that. They're actually blocking the very substances the brain needs to repair itself. It's like refusing to give a builder bricks to repair a damaged house. Let me share something that will shock you. Your brain is over 60% fat. Yeah, you heard that right. And by itself, it contains 25% of all the cholesterol in your body. The medical establishment has conveniently forgotten to mention this while pushing cholesterol-lowering drugs. Here's what they don't want you to know. In my decades of research, I've seen something alarming. The modern push to lower cholesterol levels below 190 milligrams per deciliter isn't just misguided, it's potentially dangerous. I recently had a patient whose doctor was thrilled that his cholesterol was 90, thrilled about a condition that could potentially compromise brain function. Let me share some devastating statistics that they're hiding. The pharmaceutical industry touts the benefits of statin drugs by claiming they reduce heart attack relative risk by 29% and stroke risk by 14%. Sounds impressive, right? Here's what they're not telling you. The actual absolute risk reduction is a mere 1.3% for heart attacks and 0.4% for strokes. That's not a typo. It's a manipulation of statistics. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Your brain cells have something called rafts, specialized areas in the cell membranes that are 50% cholesterol. These rafts are essential for brain cell communication. Without them, your neurons can't talk to each other effectively. Every time we artificially lower cholesterol, we're potentially disrupting this vital communication system. I had a friend from France who had a stroke and his doctors refused to let him take my neuroregenerative protocol because it contained cholesterol. This backwards thinking that cholesterol is always bad likely cost him years of potential recovery and unfortunately he has since passed. The irony? France, a country known for its high fat diet and 400 types of cheese, bought into this anti-cholesterol propaganda despite their historical better health outcomes? The truth is, cholesterol is absolutely essential for building and repairing brain cells, creating the myelin sheath that protects the neurons, insulating them, producing crucial brain hormones, activating stem cells that repair brain damage, maintaining cognitive function as you age. But perhaps the most damning evidence comes from recent research. A 2019 Korean study of 12.8 million adults showed that people with total cholesterol levels between 210 to 249 milligrams per deciliter had the best survival rate, lower mortality rates from all causes. That's far above what today's medical establishment considers healthy levels. Any level more than 200 is considered dangerous. Even more shocking, in older adults, aged 70 to 89, lower cholesterol levels were actually associated with higher mortality rates from stroke. The very treatment being pushed on elderly patients might be increasing their risk of death. I'll put a link to that study in the description for you. Anyway, in 2024, it's almost heresy to say that cholesterol is not our enemy. But I'll say it anyway, the emperor has no clothes. The cholesterol hypothesis has dominated medicine for the past 50 years. It's crumbling under the weight of real scientific evidence. Here's what you need to remember. Your brain needs cholesterol. It's not just beneficial, it's essential for your survival and cognitive function. Before accepting any cholesterol-lowering treatment, ask your doctor this simple question. How would this affect my brain's ability to repair and maintain itself? The medical establishment has been wrong before about bloodletting and leeches, about thalidomide, about cigarettes. They're wrong about cholesterol too. It's time we stop this dangerous experiment on human brain health. I'm Dr. Clark and I refuse to stay silent where millions of people are being misled about something so crucial to their brain health. Share this video with somebody you love. Their cognitive future might depend on it.